Mr. Adeshino, I, I heard uh, Mr. Abai Miroti me talking about the youth already having presidential debates. But let's remind them, the president is going to go for a presidential debate this time, isn't he? If he becomes the candidate of the APC. Well, it's rather too early about that. Uh, the president is the person who will make up his own mind whether he would want to engage in debate or not. Uh, you know, it's too early. I, I, you know, some time ago, I think I heard that, uh, was it yourself or some persons in the presidency saying it will be too early for the president to declare at the time they were asking him to because governments, governance will take a back seat. But now that he's made his intentions known, isn't it going to have the same effect, governance taking a back seat and people not politicking? No, the time has come for him to declare, particularly if you look at the situation in the APC. APC is going into... Uh, an elective convention and it's good that the party goes into that convention with uh, likely candidates in mind because in one way or the other it will affect that process so i think the president has just picked the right time to make his intentions known whether it will affect governance or not depends on the personality of who is the president don't forget that under President Obasanjo, when the process was affecting governance, he read a riot act and said, let's concentrate on governance. <laughs> President Buhari is just somebody like that. He will never allow politicking to affect governance. Okay, Mr. Adishino, thank you for talking to us. That could be the president calling, you know, so go ahead and uh, <laughs> <laughs> respond to that. <laughs> All right, then. let me come back to you. Now he's talking about this. So in terms of the strategy, and the alternative, because we heard a lot of people saying, well, no, he shouldn't run. Why should he? What should he do? But they just asked themselves, so what's the alternative? Well, I, I will speak from the position of um, the Nigerian intervention movement. There's a um, wild and wide consultation going on right now. And I can assure you that at the end of the day, we will definitely reach a consensus. Wide and wild. Wild Ten and months. wild. Yeah, yeah, wild and wide. Yes. Ten months. We have, of course, consultations have been going on before now, and we will definitely reach. I've just mentioned some very wonderful names, but realistically speaking, I don't speak on sentiment. The president of Nigeria, 2019, going by the understanding of the political nomenclature of Nigeria, is coming from the north. It has to come from the north. Now, that's by the way. So there's a lot of consultation going on. And the north has a lot of wonderful people, highly cerebral persons, that can pose a very strong alternative to the sitting president. So that one is ongoing. And I wouldn't, you will find out when the time comes out. But the strategy of ensuring that this happens, like I said, we have to speak in one voice. So if you say it has to come from the north, so if it's another person, that's another eight years. I use the word political nomenclature. I don't like to speak some things that will not make direct impact. What is the point saying that we need to be nationalistic when in the real sense we have not really reached that level in terms of our mindset? Do you want to have another implosion or another explosion in the country? It has to come from the north. Well, we did have an explosion when the former president lost. You see, let me tell you, if President Jonathan had won that election, you will have known what it means for the North not to have power when they want to have it. So we thank God that he actually lost the election. And we thank God that he actually played a great role in saying he conceded. So if the North wants to have power in 2019, what's going to stop? And 2022 or 2020? Nigeria will evolve. Like I said, there is no clear ideology. The politics we are playing today is politics of interest. But that of, that one that we are pushing for is the right. politics of ideology, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. Well, at the end of that point, Abai Mirotimi is the National Youth Leader of Nigeria Intervention Movement. Thank you for coming on this morning thank and all the best. Much. And there you go. That's the show today. We thank you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain. Also. Thanks for watching. I'm Gimba Umar. And I'm Neo Tai Igwe. Sorry we couldn't take your comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I'm Maokwe Ogun Yusuf. Have a great day, everybody. I'm Ajuri Ngilale. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not necessarily reflect the views, opinions and endorsement of Channels Television.